Hey, it's uh, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Just wanted to show you where we're going. I now got the source code to this excellent book from uh, Daniel Duffy and Andrea Germani. Germani. Uh, sorry about that if I pronounce it wrong. Anyways, um, this is I've read a couple of weeks back. Uh, great resource uh, to learn about just general uh, trading algorithms, both quant and technical analysis, as well as uh, great samples of how to build uh, trading systems, automated trading systems with C Sharp. Uh, if you don't know Daniel Duffy, he's pretty prolific out there. Uh, he's done quite a number of books on C++. Uh, he's pretty well uh, a go-to guy for all that. He's got a, a company that uh, specializes in that, does consulting and so on and so forth, but he's got these books out. So we're now using uh, C Sharp. Uh, and let me just show you what you get with the, the, the source code. Okay. Now I just quickly went through this, uh, but the reason I'm showing you this is I just want to show people how I'm moving forward in uh, not only with the workshop I did late last year in 2013, building all the components to help you uh, build out real-time uh, data from the markets as well as how to execute trades through uh, a large trading brokerage like Interactive Brokers. Uh, now I can go ahead and start more focusing on the integration of trading algorithms, both the set technical analysis and indicators, or sorry, technical analysis and uh, the other one of uh, quant. Now, the thing here is uh, it's important to realize this is all done in C Sharp and as well as uh, some uh, worksheets as well in Excel. So you will find a lot of that uh, going on from me over the next uh, couple of weeks to actual probably months and it's all coming from these type of books now uh, you need to go to the site I think data sim something or other to download the code so you gotta register through uh, somebody at the company there and so on and so forth but this this is quite a good resource you get uh, a PDF on how to start up uh, you know your visual studio and all that it shows you how to build the projects or solutions which is pretty good I give that an extra thumbs up because a lot of books don't even do that so there's a lot of effort has been put into this book um, now in terms of visual studio and building the uh, uh, solutions and the different prod uh, different uh, files you know that's pretty cumbersome in itself and pretty daunting for uh, beginners. So far I haven't had any major blow-ups. Um, this is the general overview of the whole book, um, but uh, it looks like it's been broken down by uh, chapter as well, which is good. So you have all the different chapters and all the different appendices that go with it. So let me just show you what I mean. I've got here my Visual Studio um, chapter examples. Uh, let me think here. Uh, I don't know what chapter this was. What chapter is this? One of them. But I was able to easily build uh, the the project no problem with the succeed message, zero failures, which is good. And again, extra thumbs up for that because you see a lot of these projects put together really sloppily and to a point where it just becomes useless. It's like why bother putting the code out if you're not going to properly document and make sure it works properly. This is the case. Uh, so for the money that you pay, I think it's like seventy, eighty dollars on Amazon or something. It's worth the money, I think. Um, so it's a great, great resource, uh, and it's good to see that there's actual working uh, solutions in Visual Studio, so you can work off of that. On top of that, um, there's the big one. Uh, I think it's this one. Uh, let me just show you some of the examples here. That it just shows you how extensive this thing is. It's, it's just. A complete beast. So um, there, there's a lot of analysis on options and fixed income, uh, and there's uh, uh, how to do integration with Excel, how to integrate with C++. Um, so I'll be focusing those as a, as a starting point for the priority, and then quickly moving into the actual algorithms themselves. So again, I just want to show this to people. This is what you have looking for. Uh, starting next week on the 27th of January in 2014 and uh, just so people know uh, the, the code to get how to get this code again is through the author's uh, site um, and uh, that's how you get that now what's going to be happening on my end I'll be probably changing the code putting it behind uh, a paywall in the new membership I'll be starting 
probably in the next week or two, uh, and it's not going to be a, a cheap option because uh, I'm going to be targeting more institutional guys and uh, more, uh, I don't know, moving up the food chain, I guess you could say. So that's what we got for looking or for to look, uh, things to look forward to. We can see there's a huge number of chapters here, 26. And I've not yet mentioned the other book from uh, P.J. Kaufman, The Trading uh, Systems and Methods. It's the same idea. Uh, it's a condensed Paul Wilmont version of just how to build out some basic algorithms and stuff. And again, we have not even addressed um, the MATLAB stuff as well. This is, the, this is the future of where I'm going with the algorithms and uh, strategies, testing them out against live data. And then at the same time, while I do that, I'll be testing it out. Priority is Forex. Uh, as well as probably equities as well, and um, just just doing a ranking of what looks promising and what doesn't look promising, and then start focusing on the promising stuff, if that makes sense. All right, so that's what you got to look forward to, and I'll talk to you soon, and see you in another video later.